Hey, Maki Roll, we are about to get absolutely fucked out here. Are you putting an incompetent and arrogant butthole over your own customers? Or should I say customer with the way you may take things? I am your boss. And for your knowledge, I'm only doing this interview because of two reasons and two reasons alone. Number one is, so I don't have to put up with your nonsense 24 hours, seven days a week. And second of all, you have someone else to constantly annoy with your totally made up sex stories. You could have just said it was for the company. This isn't America's funniest home videos. No one is laughing. You should definitely tell yourself that sometimes. It would make a big difference. Now, if you excuse me, I have an interviewee coming in shortly. I need you to get back to work. Am I paying you $10 an hour for no reason? When your store burns down, I don't want you to take names. My lab is booby-trapped, so don't even think about taking me down. I haven't thought about that before. Thank you for telling me all your concerns. Now please see yourself out. What a fucking loser. If you keep that up, I'm going to make it my life's sole goal to force you to live with Kokichi forever. Fuck off, Maki Roll. How many times do I have to tell you my order for you to get it into your head already? Did you lose your mommy because you look like a fucking toddler? What are you doing behind the counter? You know I can refuse service if I want to, right? Or I don't know. I could get my friends to poison your food and you wouldn't even know it. Can you even comprehend what we can do to you, Mr. Nancy Pelosi? Oh, fuck you. That woman is another walking corpse whose only achievement is getting the Guinness World Record for being the most incompetent woman in America. She'd be glad if she wasn't drowning, because if that were the case, I would give her a high five. None of you old geezers would even walk 10 feet near a pool or beach. Besides, you don't want your spray tan to come off, right? I'd like to speak to your manager, frankly, before I go back there and make McDonald's great again myself. Uh, we don't have a manager, and it's Maki Donald's asshole. What the fuck? Well, look who came crawling back. My options were very limited. If I had any control left, I would be as far away from this store as I can. And let me ask you this. When did I ask for your opinion? Nice opinion, but there's just one small problem with it. Who asked? Like, genuinely, who asked? Who gave you the talking stick? I'll tell you, nobody did. Excuse me. Why are you trying to infiltrate this interview with those dank and deceased memes? After my husband interviewed you, he wet the bed for seven nights in a row. I have every right to act this way. Just admit you're a bully and a failure in life, and we can get this interview underway. If not, I'd like to recommend you should see a therapist and lock your doors at night. Why would you suggest something so absurd to me? It's just that everything isn't what it seems. Good riddance. Again, it seems like I have no other choice. I would like to apologize for your husband's childish and bizarre behavior because of the conception he has that makes me out as a bully and a rude person. This interview is going nowhere. Hi, welcome to your local Maki Donald's. My name is Nagito Komaeda. I will be serving you today. What can I get you? Hi, I'd like to know why the doors are locked and what's with that racist and xenophobic speech outside. Did you not clear the parking lot of rats or Republicans? As you can clearly see, ma'am, this isn't Starbucks or Target every June. We welcome anyone and I hope you will understand. I have to catch a flight to DC in only a few hours. I just wanted to have a Mac Whooper burger and see myself out. This isn't Burger King, ma'am. Oh, uh, yeah, of course, but can you open up already? I don't have all day. Uh, there is nothing I can do. Donald Trump is inside. And after all of the rude and inappropriate things he has suggested about you, I am uncomfortable with letting you inside. Is there anything else I can do to help you today? You sound like a robot. What the hell is wrong with you? If you want me to sound like a robot so bad, I'll become a robot for you. Hello there, everyone. It's me, Nagito Kamida on the Nintendo DS! <laughs> what the fuck have I done with my life? I thought that your inside trading and immense wealth was enough. The fuck? As much as I hate to be a bother, I know how hard you politicians have to work to get to where you are today, but you can't fool me. When that financial crisis hit the country, your net worth burst. Uh, I got my money by investing in Facebook. Who told you that? As much as I admire your power, hard work, and care for the American people, you are acting like a fucking dumbass, and I sincerely hope you start treating people with respect. Shut the fuck up. 
This whole interview is just a bewildering embarrassment of the American education system. And I have to ask you how your life ended up in such a terrible state that this was your last resort? You're the one who is in the interview for this position. Now can you please leave my office? You didn't get the job. Or what? You look so weak and starved that you could fade away into the atmosphere any second now. Fuck off before I get security to kick you out. Oh yeah? And who's security? Me. Let me see if I can explain your situation using physics. What would you be if you were attached to another object by an inclined plane wrapped helically around an axis? Screwed. <laughs> now what the hell is going on out here? What the hell is going on is the fact that these employees don't have a brain. I've told this little kid my order 10 times over, but he only responds with ageism and horrible political positions. Is the way to get hired around here is to just walk and talk or what? The owner is an asshole and Nikki Haley supporter. Here, just tell me your order and I'll write it down. If this little guy tried, he would probably spell every other word wrong. Hey, I am a good speller. I paid attention in school. Before I dropped out, of course. Spell hypocrite. You know what you caught me in a lie? And I'm not ashamed of it. In my opinion, if it makes sense to me, I don't give a fuck. Ugh, well, I'll have to take over. You are all under my direction now, and if you don't listen to me, well, you all inherently saw what I did to Kokichi, so you are under my command or else. Much, much, much later. Hey, where did Miyu go? And Kokichi, why are you lying on the floor? That, that new manager you hired is such a dick. He made us cook 100 big makis and with a side of five large astro fries. God, I got to tell you whose idea was it to name the burgers? My goldfish could come up with something better. I did. Oh, shit. Wow, you really proved yourself back there. I really misjudged you, did I? Oh, no, you judged me just fine. The problem was we didn't get to the appropriate questions, and I didn't have a chance to showcase my abilities. Can I assume that has changed? Honestly, after what you pulled off, you are hired. Welcome to the team. I'm sure everyone will love you here. Why do you hate us so much? Can, can someone get me more, more Big Macs? It's a Big Maki, you big fat asshole.